Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to record vocals over your beats inside of FL Studio. So this is really helpful if you have somebody over, they want to record a song over your beat, you know you're in the studio with somebody, it's good to have that knowledge. Or if you want to record yourself over your own beats, this is also the perfect fucking video for you. Because today I'm just going to run you through how to record no delays, you know, any troubles you might run into, just make it a smooth process of recording. Yeah, just have some fun, so let's go. So me personally, I like recording over my beats because I just find it helps me to make better beats. Like, if I make it with the intention of me making a song over it and then I just release the beat, the beat is just more ready for someone to record a song over it because if I could make a song over that beat, then anyone could make a song over that beat, you know? And it also kind of helps you to critique your beats a little bit more because if you start to record a song on it, then you might realize like there actually is some things in there that are a little cluttered or it's not EQ'd properly and you'll hear those things as soon as you start putting it in the context of a full song in your brain. Uh, to get into it, we'll basically just open up FL Studio. You obviously want to have your microphone plugged into your computer. Um, I would recommend using some type of audio interface. If you don't know what that is, it'd be like... I, I use a Go XLR Mini, um, but some other examples would be a Scarlett, you know, 2i2 Solo, I think is like a hundred bucks. You really don't need one though, unless you have an XLR microphone. If you have an XLR microphone, then you need either an adapter or some type of inter audio interface that can, that you can plug the microphone into and then plug the interface into your computer. But if you have an interface, you'll want to connect the mic to the interface and then the interface to the computer. If you're just using the mic, you'll want to connect the microphone just straight to the computer. Once that's done, you'll go into FL Studio here and you'll just want to, you know, drag your beat in basically. And if you don't know where to get a beat, you can go to uh, magic with two C's dot dot com and there's a great selection of beats there, all uh, made by me. And I can personally guarantee that you will find what you need over there. So click the first link in the description and uh, go check that out if you're looking for beats. Anyway, we'll just go ahead and drag our beat in here. And then once you have the beat in, there's a couple things you want to do before you get set up to actually start recording. And that the first thing is going to be you want to turn off anything CPU intensive inside of your mixer channels. So if you have any plugins on that are going to be using a lot of CPU. So even these, I have limiter and a couple EQs on the master. I can turn those off just for the process of while I'm recording. It's just going to minimize that delay down to as little as possible. That way I can hear it live back into my headphones. So once you have all the plugins turned off, then you're just going to select an empty mixer channel. And at the top right, right here, you're just going to click this drop down and you'll choose an input. So you can see if I click input one right here, it's going to ask if I want to switch to external input only. And then I'll press yes. That basically just means it's only going to record the microphone and not the beat and the microphone onto this channel. If I turn this on, I can hear there is a little bit of a delay. And the reason why in my case is because I'm not using the audio interface setup. If I were to go here into my audio settings and then change this into the Go XLR ASIO driver, that's the driver for my audio interface, so it's going to work with less delay uh, with this microphone. But if, like I said, if you don't have the audio interface, it should be good for you. It's also going to be a little bit slower on my end right now because I'm recording a video. But once you have your input selected, the only thing you are going to want to add to your vocal track is going to be just auto-tune, okay? You'll put your auto-tune on there if you want to use auto-tune. If you don't want to use any auto-tune, then you can just record just from here. Um, but if you want to use auto-tune, you'll go ahead and get your auto-tune set up right now. And as you can see, if I turn this channel back on when I talk into this mic, I'm going to hear it playing back with the auto-tune enabled. So... So as you can see from that horrible demonstration, the autotune is playing back live. And so now in order to record over my beat, what I'm going to want to do is turn this channel back on. And then I'll go into the playlist here. I'm going to press this little record button and I can press audio into the playlist as an audio clip. That's going to give me a little countdown and it's going to start recording. And as you can see, as I'm talking into the microphone, it is recording me live with no delay and the autotune is going to be on that track 
and I can hear it back. And if you want to take off that little countdown, you can just go to options and then uncheck recording pre-count. And so then you'll just want to record little sections over your beat. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, and so you'll record your little section and then when you play it back, you can just start recording the next section and it's going to automatically play this section that you just recorded back into your ears. And so sometimes I just normalize it if it's too quiet. Song over beat that you're recording on. Okay, now I can keep going. That's just an example of how easy it would be to record a song or record some type of flow over the beat that you just made. And it really, really helps you to critique the beat that you just made if you're a producer. Or, obviously, just record a song over it if you're an artist or a rapper. You, that's what you're looking to do. But yeah, for the most part, it's pretty straightforward. If you guys do it any differently, definitely let me know in the comments below. I'd, I'd love to hear how you guys approach this. But yeah, that does it for today's video. I'm just going to go ahead and make a beat to finish this one out. And I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow at 3 p.m. Peace out.